Hi guys! So today we're gonna do a very creepy makeup transformation as you could tell by this really weird yellow thing on my head inspired by Chica the Chicken from the video game Five Nights at Freddy's. I thought I would try to complete as many characters from this video game as I can because it's super creepy and you guys have been requesting it for a very long time now, so why not do it? This creeps me out to no end. Chica is like one of the only female characters from this video game. If you haven't played it, basically, you're this guy stuck in a children's amusement type venue where there's animatronic animal characters that come to life and try to attack you while you're stuck in this room. It's very scary. I could only play it for five minutes before I start screaming and wanting to leave the skin of my body behind and run away. But we're gonna try to do Chica the Chicken from this and let's see how it turns out. First of all, I'm gonna take this Princess Peach crown off and I'm just brushing my hair back to put it in a very low ponytail because we're gonna put that crown back on later. We don't want any hair in the way. And then it is time to delete my eyebrows. You guys know the drill if you've been watching my videos. I use Elmer's glue, purple to be exact, because it hides darker brow hairs. Do not one, not two, but sometimes even three layers or more to make sure all my brow hairs are nice and smoothed down, doing layers of powder in between. Depending on how thick your brow hairs are, you want to do as many layers as you need. And don't worry, girl, this will not take your literal eyebrows off of your face permanently. As long as you soak your eyebrows with makeup remover wipes when you're going to remove them first, it will be fine. And no, I'm not naked. I do have this wrap towel robe thing on. Next, you're going to want to get a white eyeliner pencil and start drawing the outline of Chica the Chicken's face. All of her facial features. I start off with her eyebrows and then went down and then her huge eyes. You really want to make sure the layout is perfect because this character is almost like a cartoon. Well, it is a cartoon. And with cartoon characters, it looks simple and like this is going to be so easy. But you need to do the exact exact shape and size of their eyes, facial features, because if you don't, you could really miss the character and it won't look nothing like them. So it's really hard to do the outline of the mouth. You want it to make it look like it's an open beak, and so it's going to have little teeth in it, just like Chica the Chicken has. So you really want to lay this out perfectly as you can with some white eyeliner first. And once you have your layout all drawn on, we're going to get some yellow body paint and color in the yellow portion of Cheek of the Chicken. This is kind of like paint by numbers. That's why it really helps with the outline first. Paint around the eyes, the eyebrows, and the beak that we drew on, and that mouth. It kind of looks like we just spread bee pollen or just dipped our body in yellow mustard in certain parts of our face. And leave your neck bare except for one little part there. And then we are going to paint on the shoulders. I'm leaving the middle part of my chest bare because Chica has like this bib type outfit on that we're going to paint in white later. So you really want to make sure you get those shoulders nice and pigmented with yellow. Now I'm getting the orange body paint and painting in Chica's beak on the top part around the nose and around the white of the teeth on the bottom. Now I'm getting the white body paint and getting a smaller paintbrush, preferably one with a square edge on it and doing the teeth. Now I'm getting the white body paint and starting with Chica's bib outfit thing that I told you I was going to put on before on the middle part of the chest. Now it's time to paint in the whiteness of Chica's eyes. I'm getting some white cream paint at first and then I decided to get some jumbo eye pencil by NYX in Milky I think it is. Is it Milk? I think it said Milk. And like I said, coloring in the whiteness of her eyes. This is very difficult to do one eye at a time and powder it down. Then I'm getting some purple and blue aqua paint to do the iris of the eyes. Reference picture for this is definitely key. You do not want to mess up on cartoon characters. You need everything to look exact. Then I'm just getting some black cream paint or you use like black eyeliner or lipstick and painting in the eyebrows. Getting the black cream paint with an orange stipple sponge and stippling all over her face. Giving it a gradient effect and some texture like it's furry a little bit, like it's a real costume of a creepy animal and all over the shoulders as well. Then I'm just getting some black cream paint or you use like black eyeliner and around the whiteness of those eyes. You want to make sure the black cream paint goes under your bottom eyelid. So when you close your eyes, it will like look nice and all blended into the shape of one huge animatronic eye when you close your eyes completely. And with this black cream paint, I'm outlining the teeth and doing the top part of the outline of that beak and starting to paint in the open mouth of the beak of Chica, the chicken. It's going to be really creepy. Spackling on the bib some red and yellow cream paint. 
spackling on some yellow cream paint. Then over that, I'm putting dots of red cream paint on the bib. Getting black aqua paint and coloring my ears and under the chin around the face to give it more shape and to blend it into the background. On my neck and shoulders as well. So it looks like a person dressed in a creepy furry costume that's about to attack you and haunt you forever. Getting some white cream paint, doing some highlight marks around the eyes and on the eyelids and then some more black cream paint to do the outlines of the eyes to make him have a deathly creepy stare. Now it's time to put on that weird top feather headband portion that I had on before at the beginning of the video. This kind of reminds me of the Snapchat filter or Princess Peach herself. And now that her feather crown is back on her head, you're finally completely done with this makeup transformation of Chica the Chicken from the video game Five Nights at Freddy's. I can't wait to do more characters. This one's super creepy. I loved how it turned out. It came out a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. But thanks for sticking out and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now it's time to transform back into myself and out of this animatronic creepy chicken looking paint job. I don't know why I'm really in the mood to do a lot of body painting so I cannot wait, like I said again, to do the rest of these characters. I had to make all of the crowns of these characters that you're gonna see later from hand, from scratch with hot glue and everything and burnt my fingertips off. I'm surprised I still have thumbprints and fingerprints after it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. All the products I use in this video will be listed down below in the description box as always. If you guys do any of these body paintings, please take a picture of it and tag me on Instagram so I can see it. And I love you guys, and I will definitely see you guys soon in another video. Hopefully another Five Nights at Freddy transformation. I did Freddy Fazbear already, and I'll leave that link down below. Can't wait to do the rest, and I love you all. See you soon. Bye!